This may be one of the funnest seasons that I've ever done. We have everything from Italian food to race cars to coconuts to macaroons, a crazy skinny Latina in Miami. I'm not gonna write a check for somebody that doesn't have their shit together. You see, there's particular episodes that I'll probably never forget that we shot this season with characters that are larger in life, with stories that are moving. This is a business right here? This is a business. This is underwater. With reasons why you and me would want to help them. This season, I learned and realized that I can't do the work for the business owners. I have to do it with them. And in the past, I've been bitten because I've made the mistake of doing the work for them, doing the transformation for them. And it's all fine and dandy when I'm there. But the minute I walk out the door, things fall apart. How's it going? You missed some action today. We learned a lot. How many coconuts have you sold here? <clears throat> Here in this spot, we've sold, what, about six cases? Well, let me go check on the numbers. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like you guys had fun. Hey, Vinny. Yeah. I want to ask you a quick question, buddy. Yeah. I was looking in the system, so there's nine in a case, right? Yeah. And you said you sold the six cases. Okay. So six cases times nine would be 54, mm -hmm. right? And there's only 10 in the system. We did good with the samples. We tried some different things. What was that for the goal for today? Because the goal when we left was, Sell coconuts here, let's understand it, let's learn. Well, when you have a shop that's, that was empty. You didn't follow the task, which was to learn. Master. You told me to sell coconuts. That's what's going to be different this season. Teach them how to fish and watch the food pour in. Your calories are 25 for one tablespoon. This competitive marinade is 10 calories. It feels a little misleading that you're calling it skinny. But I don't know right now in this day and age, a single person that is counting calories as a way of dieting. It's just not done anymore. I'm pretty sure that people still look at calories. I don't think so. I count my calories. Right, I don't, I don't know many people that like, count. Well, you, know, you know one. I didn't know that. This idea that business isn't personal is just a fallacy. You wake up every day and you put your whole life on the line, your family at risk, to make a business that you think could save jobs and make a living for you and your family. How is that not personal? I'm making less now than I did when I started the company. It was... Excuse me? When you work with your family members and there's strife, how is that not personal? There's obviously this weird tension between the two of you that I know there's a lot of love, but I don't know that there's a lot of respect when it comes to business. There is none. When you get to hire people and give them an opportunity to better themselves, how is that not personal? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta be strong and you gotta have your act together. You got a business to run. Your parents aren't gonna work here forever. You gotta put on your big boy pants and it's time to get after. And when you can help make your customers happy, well, it doesn't get any better than that. That's why it's personal. That's not what we are shooting for. What are we shooting for? Why don't you tell we me? We are shooting for the moon. <laughs> Over the last several years, I've learned a lot and I've made a ton of mistakes. But what I know for sure is that I need to go with my gut a little bit more. There's lots of different ways you can invest in a business. And most people think it's as simple as writing a check and taking equity. We got a deal, no money, no whatever. But no, no, we have a deal. We have a deal. And you will have money once you can prove that you can raise money from other people in the orthodox way. But in certain cases, there are different reasons why a business needs help. Sometimes they need help with real estate. Sometimes they need a line of credit. If the goal is to get back to three million, yes. you'll need a $540,000 line of credit. You earn into the line of credit as the sales grow. I'll have the interest rate be 5%. That's good. But I want 25% equity for doing it. And so every size doesn't fit all. If you're going to invest in a business, make sure you understand exactly what they need, not too much, not too little, and that it works for you as well. What mattered to me more this season than anything else, other than paint on the walls and new carpeting, was a transformation of people. Do you think it would be a good idea if you and I just bury the hatchet and move forward and make this company rock? Absolutely. You know it. So as we take this journey through this next season, I want you to open up your mind. Every investment isn't the same. Every character isn't the same. And for darn sure, every business isn't the same. My whole click since 06 was on the bottom. Now we running this grind hard when the low gets heavy. The money was slow, but now it's steady. You boys is not ready. When I started this show, I didn't need glasses. 
and all these people made me crazy, so I lost my eyesight. Yeah,